Vim Miller just so happens to be an individual who got arrested now about a little less than two weeks ago in California at a Trump rally. He was arrested outside of a rally and had allegations that he was there to try to unalive Donald Trump as a third potential assassin. But again, this guy just put out a documentary called Bundy versus Deep State, which puts forth some very information. And I don't know if you want to call Mike Little um, a whistleblower or how you would uh, categorize him in that aspect, but it seems like during the making of this documentary, something happened to Mike Little, and Mike Little is no longer with us. So you have a gentleman from the documentary that's no longer with us. You had the gentleman who produced and directed the doc documentary gets arrested and accused of the stuff with Donald Trump, and it's about you and your family and what took place with the Bundy Ranch standoff. So anything you want to share on that? Well, so this Mike Little, he saw what happened at the Bundy Ranch and he visited my family and he was convinced that there was something, you know, really what he was is he was convinced that an injustice was going on. And so he started digging into it along with this, this these other people. And he ended up, you know, completely exposing what was happening to the land and to the issues surrounding the Bundy Ranch. And he found out, uh, you know, through some basically just a ton of research uh, that what they were trying to do to my family and also why they were trying to do it. And it has to do with, you know, uh, controlling the land and resources in and around the ranch and in the Western United States. So he built this lawsuit against the federal government, extremely powerful. He worked on it for seven years, uh, extremely powerful loss lawsuit that basically exposes how the federal government does not, I mean, in my opinion, undisputably exposes how the federal government does not own the land and have the right to control the land uh, in Nevada. And um, so he prepares this, he prepares this lawsuit and gets it all ready. I mean, it's like, I think a hundred pages, the actual complaint, the lawsuit is like a hundred pages. And then the supporting documents, I think are like another four or 500 pages, several hundred pages. And he gets ready to, him and his team get ready to file it. And they're just days away from filing it. And all of a sudden, Mike just out of the blue starts like getting sick. He goes in the hospital and the doctors can't say what his problem is and he just shrivels up as a person just i mean and he's in pain he's i mean moaning and they i mean he's in terrible shape and then then he dies and the doctors were never able to diagnose him i mean this mike little just a few just a few days later he was in a hospital for like five he was in a hospital for like five weeks or in and out of the hospital for like five weeks something to that effect yeah it wasn't it wasn't very long and, and they and they and they couldn't they did all kinds of tests and they could not determine at all what was wrong with him and he was in the hospital for quite some time and then i, I really want people to watch this documentary because yeah. again the the main gentleman who was going to file a lawsuit that's a very important lawsuit which we'll get into like what the law, some of the aspects of the lawsuit when it comes to um land in the United States, that's not owned and it's not technically owned by the federal government. The federal government is taking claim on it. And that's kind of what happened with your uh, situation back in 2014 with the Bundy standoff, because it was claiming that the the, the BLM, the, ba the Bureau of Land Management, claims that your father uh, as a rancher was owed a million dollars from grazing fees from the horses or from from the cows just grazing out on natural land and the government's like well this is our land so that your cows can't eat our food and they wanted to go through this whole issue and then mike little comes forth with some very damning information very eye-opening information ready to file a lawsuit he all of a sudden has something happen to him again ben miller the director producer gets arrested with this trump stuff and it's all about what happened with you and your family and then seeing what's happening with you with all of your legal stuff. It's just like if if anybody was a conspiracy theorist or if anybody was one of these little tinfoil hat people, uh, your radar should be going off right now because this is definitely um, there's something more to this entire situation than what's being shared uh, public. So um, what are your thoughts about the documentary overall? I think it's uh, great. They did it amazing job mike little was very articulate and he could really explain quickly what was going on in, you know in this on the western land issue especially in nevada and how the federal government was and you know they needed 
in my opinion, I, I mean, I just don't find it a coincidence that just days before they were ready to file this, he ends up sick and then dies in the hospital. And the doctors can't diagnose it, don't know what happened. I just don't believe it. Um, and especially when the issue is so uh, means, I mean, it's so powerful that it would cost the federal government trillions and trillions of dollars if they lost this loss. And I believe that it is so uh, found, so sound that and so founded that that even a corrupt judge would have a hard time ruling against because i mean it's so solid the the legal argument is so solid that the federal government will lose this case and i mean it's just that simple and mike little was going to be the one to bring it and he was the one that understood it did the background and could articulate it and he was actually going to be part of the subject of it and then he dies he's dead yeah, I stopped believing in coincidences a long time ago. I'm pretty sure you have too. 